don't read books. Confused? You must be wondering why is Dave advising not to read self-help books? I'm a big believer in learning and growing. But this one advice which I got from my mentor Dan Law literally changed my game. See, on an average, I was reading about 60 to 80 books in a year. But here's something I realized, that there's a problem here. I realized that most of us, we read a lot of things, so there are different category of people. Like one category of people don't read any self-help books, they don't care about growing, that's about it. Second category of people, they are the category of people who read a lot of books and then eventually become learning junkies. That is not good. This Guru Mantra I'm going to share with you that Dan Lok shared with me, which is going to really help you. He said that they don't read books, use books. That means there's a third category of people who are not just learning junkie, but who are doers. People who don't just read it, they actually use it. Now, you must be wondering, Dave, how do I use books? What is your process? What is your way? Here's what I do. Whenever I am traveling in the gym or doing whatever other things, it's called, let's say, dead time, right? You're in working out in the gym, it's just one thing is happening, right? You're cooking, it's a dead time. You're traveling, it's a dead time. So what I do is, I fill that dead time with my audiobooks. With I'm listening to a lot of audiobooks. So I, yes, I'm listening to book, reading the book, but most importantly, when I'm listening to those books, I actually think about, hey, can I use this? Can I use this? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? Most of the people are one way receiver, right? They just receive the information, receive the information, receive the information. But you need to have a dual processor. Yes, you're right. You need to have a dual processor. Not only you receive information, but also you need to process the information in such a way by asking, am I using it? Am I doing it? So not just learning, but also validating whatever I'm learning, am I using it? And here's the interesting part. 80% of the things that you learn from books will be forgotten. So as soon as you learn something, use it. Create a content, teach somebody. This is, this is another tip. So let's do a quick recap, right? So don't read the book, use the book. How do you use it? Use that books in a dead time and then pick those elements and ask yourself, am I using it? Am I doing it? Am I implementing it? That's number one. Number two is, just take one or two elements out of things that you have learned and let's just implement right then and there. Like, I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm working hard, right? I got a brilliant idea. I said, wow, this is wonderful. I will pick up my phone and start typing, right? Whatever it is, rough structure, whatever it is. Now, I've, I've launched my first physical seminar by just listening to the audiobook and say, wow, this is a great idea. I should do a session on uh, cold calling and I just typed out you know I'm, I'm launching a cold calling seminar I'm gonna cover this 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 and I sent it out to all the people that were connected to me through all the whatsapp groups and what happened so many people said Dave I'm interested I'm interested and I just filled the room of 20-25 people and of course at that time the fees was less it was a long time back it was about 700 rupees but I could do it why because I'm not just reading books I'm using book whatever point I picked up take action fast this is what will separate you from all the wannabes, all the people who are not, forget, forget about, you know, read, not reading books, but all the people who are learning junkies. It'll separate you from there and you go to a third category who is not just reading books, but using books. So if this advice is, is making sense to you, put it in chat box. If you're in wow moment or OMG moment, put it in chat box. And here's, here's the thing. Third thing I want to give you, the third tip I want to give you before I leave you guys from this video is... When you have so many lessons that you learned from the book, pick best one or two. And don't worry about, oh, I'm not able to memorize everything. I'm not able to use everything. No, it's not about reading and remembering and learning everything. It's about one or two element. If you get it from the book, done. Keep the book aside. Pick that book after maybe one month, two months. Because all you need is book. Let's not go from chapter to chapter to chapter to chapter. You can actually open the book and any chapter that is speaking to you at that point of time, Take that chapter and if you got your top two or three things that you can do, implement from this book, you're done with the book, keep it aside. Maybe you go to the next book, then next book, next book. That's all. This is called using the book and not literally mugging up the book 
because our education system has just told us to mug up everything in this we don't mug up we use the books right this is dev gadvi i hope this this tip helped you if it did give me thumbs up and check out some other videos i have some book recommendation for you my five book on marketing these are my favorite books right so check out those links and watch out those videos as well i'll see you in the next video thank you